Hello, John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner, a scripted read because I tend to be a little verbose and talkative when I speak off the cuff, so I figured I organized my thoughts. This might go a little bit quicker. What I have for you today is an explanation, a caveat of sorts, explaining my YouTube channel and some of the inconsistency you may see between publishing date and recording date. Now, most of it is my fault, but some of it is YouTube's fault for their lack of flexibility, though I don't think they can entirely help it. When you own a channel and you upload video to YouTube, the only thing it recognizes is publishing date, or the date that it was uploaded. It has no idea what date you actually recorded your original video, because YouTube cannot read your video file's metadata and therefore cannot extract the data necessary to automatically order your video page by original recording date. It knows one thing and only one thing, publishing date by reverse chronological order, so that your most recent uploaded videos appear at the top or front of both your home and video upload tabs. And on a pane from left to right, that would be the far left. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. That is, until you upload your newer recordings before some of your older ones. Then upload order will no longer be the same as recording date order. This disjunct sequence can confuse your viewers if you're not careful. I'm guilty of this myself, which is why I'm bringing this up. In most cases, I will always try to prominently post the actual recording date in either the title, the description, or as a timestamp in the caption of the actual video itself, if it's different from the upload date, just so my viewers have a heads up that this date is different than the publishing date listed. Since I'm slow at editing and uploading my videos to YouTube, often doing so long after I've recorded them, this is especially important for me. People who post videos on YouTube more frequently, especially those with thousands of subscribers, or who do it for money, will probably come much closer to publishing on the actual recording date. Here, any worry that recording and publishing dates will be ambiguous is relatively minimal. So the reason I bring all this up is I have videos sitting on my hard drive going back many years that I still have not gotten around to posting yet. Some of them I'd like to eventually get to, but in the meantime, my more recent stuff is more interesting and relevant, and therefore I want to post it as soon as possible so you can see it. In fact, I do have a lot of videos from last year I've been putting off so that I could maybe try to preserve chronology by posting the older stuff first. But I now see that's not going to be very practical or even desirable. Why hold off on a newer video in the queue ready to go just to begin editing a 10-year-old video that's raw and in the rough? I'm tired of doing that. So you'll see some 2017 videos posted as more recent than my previously posted 2018 ones. And I may follow those with some 2015 or older videos after that, which unfortunately will display as even more recent than the 2017 and 2018 from this year. There is no way to avoid this other than to eventually create playlists. With a playlist, you can first subdivide videos by subject or category, and from there manually put them in whatever order you want. At least YouTube does give a channel owner the option of doing that. However, then comes the task of creating separate playlists for videos that don't necessarily fall into any specific category, other than miscellaneous. But that's a whole separate discussion for later that I won't get into now. So in the meantime, bear with me as you'll see a lot of bouncing around in recording date order. Hopefully this effect will eventually ease up some when I finally finish uploading my oldest videos. Thank you to all who have subscribed, watched, and supported my channel. I thank you for your interest. I'm John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner. Goodbye for now.